Alright guys, um, so it is Sunday night and I'm about to go to bed and I'm very loopy right now because I'm on a lot of pain medication. Um, today was a really, another really, really horrible day, probably worse than yesterday, it just keeps getting worse and worse. Um, my, uh, oh, sometimes it just makes you feel weird, those pain meds. Anyway, we called the on-call dentist because I was in so much pain, and I literally have... <sighs> Yesterday, it would be like an hour of relief at a time, and now it's like half an hour at a time, so my meds are going to wear off any minute now. Um, I'll still feel loopy, but I will be in excruciating pain again, so that's really great. Anyway, we called the doctor on-call, and he's going to call me in a stronger antibiotic to go with, the stronger antibiotic I'm already taking because I'm pretty sure my whole face is infected and I'm not even kidding so tomorrow I have my appointment with the dentist where we're supposed to <clears throat> take molds of my teeth <sighs> to make the dentures but I'm worried something might be wrong and that they might have to do some sort of procedure again on me tomorrow and that might delay the dentures I don't know but it's getting to the point, you guys, where I don't care how freaking ugly I look, I'm ready if he needs to pull out all of my teeth tomorrow just to get me out of pain. I'm fine with it. Like, that's how much pain I'm in. Um, yep, my meds are wearing off. Not the loopiness, but the pain. That's fantastic. Hi, guys. So it's the next day, and we, my mom is graciously taking me to the dentist. Do you want to say hi? You look beautiful as always. Um, I'm in a lot of pain. I'm sorry I didn't post yesterday or today, which is Monday for me. Um, it's been a rough weekend, but we're going to the dentist now and hopefully they can fix whatever is wrong. I think I told you guys about this already yesterday, I think, so I don't know. I don't know when I'm gonna be posting this, but just wanted to check in and say that if we die today because of the icy roads, that tell Danny I love him and and we're not mom. Gonna die. Oh, we're not gonna die apparently, so that's good actually. So never mind, scratch that. Look at all of the love and support that I have with me. <laughs> Got both my parents here. Kelsey, oh you don't like yeah, I don't like that. Okay, <laughs> never mind. I didn't get your face. I only got your hair, <laughs> I think. And that's all. I don't know what else I was gonna say. So okay, okay. Stay open for me. Thank you, Paula. Sure. Teamwork around here. Oh, hi. <laughs> no warning. There you go. <laughs> oh. I think we're just gonna leave with this in today. <laughs> Did it come out? Wow. I can't believe that stayed in there. Because it's been wiggling. Did it work? Maybe, I don't know if that's gonna be this area that I need. Not quite enough. You can do it again, it doesn't bother me at all. Yeah, because they're gonna take everything out, place the implants. They will put the denture in, but it acts like a band-aid. That one will actually be removable. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it's just so you have something in. That's just for a couple of weeks, right? Or um, until they heal, it'll depend on what Burton says as far as time. Wait, the top one I'll be wearing a denture? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Because they put the implants in and there's a healing oh, period. Before we do all the other These are impressions. in touch, right? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Are you ready? Okay, make it stick to them. Which is good. 
brick oven and it's extremely old. My mom, you guys have heard of BYU, right? Brigham Young University here in Utah, the Mormon college. <laughs> um, so this is right by that college and my mom went there for college. So she would walk here every day with her friends to get lunch. So this building is quite old. Not that my mom's old, but she's a little old, so. Right there, <laughs> across the street. So mom here would walk every day with her friends. Because you live down the street, right? I did, yeah. Just right down there, down the street. There's BYU. So this has been here for a very long time. Not that she's old, but the building is old. She's not, just the building is. When has the building been here? 1956. 1956, so way before you were born. Yeah, I didn't even know they had You weren't even born yet. I know. Yes, I was. Oh, 56, you're right. You weren't even born. See, you're not that old, Mom. <laughs> Come here and get pizza. Eat a couple slices and leave it out all night. Mom, that's dangerous. That's not. We, I didn't. You would leave it out or put it in the fridge? I would leave it on the counter and then we'd eat it for breakfast. Mom! <laughs> I still do that. And do you know what? <laughs> They've lived a lot longer than us, so maybe it's not as bad as a deal that we are all making it. Exactly. I would rather leave pizza out than put it away. But did you never get sick from it? No. No, nope, never. It's fun to have cold pizza for breakfast. Yes, but from the fridge, not the counter. Didn't kill me. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere you go. We are back from the dentist and he decided to not pull any teeth today. Um, which means I will be doing pain management until and more antibiotics. He gave me more antibiotics until um my birds are driving me insane. Until What's the matter? Until Wednesday, which is, um, I'm a little anxious because Wednesday is the day where they're going to take out, next Wednesday, not this Wednesday, they're gonna take out all my top teeth and I must have misunderstood something because I guess what's gonna happen is, um, what they told me originally was that they were going to remove my top teeth and put the posts in all at once. And I thought that meant that they were also putting the teeth in, but all they meant was that they're putting more of those in, just the posts. And then we have to wait for them to heal before we can put the fake teeth into the posts. So that means that I will be wearing a takeout denture for probably six weeks and I, did, I misunderstood that. I thought I thought that I was gonna go home with teeth. So we're gonna have to do the takeout dentures and I'm really nervous about that. I think that will be the worst part of this whole process um, from what he told me. So if I can get through the, the next six weeks after that, then hopefully it's smooth sailing after that, but it's going to be rough. So <sighs> we'll see. Um, he just says that it's hard because it, it it's a process when you get dentures like take out dentures um you guys saw that they took the molds for me today so they're just going to make me some temporary dentures the kind that you take in and out the kind where there's like gums extra gums on it so like gums will go up here and gums will go on the entire roof of my mouth like more gums and so I'm going to talk very funny. I'm going to hurt because it takes quite a while to, you have to keep going back and going back to readjust everything to get it to fit just right without hurting. It causes a lot of bruising and swelling and pain on your gums if they don't fit perfectly. So I'll probably be in pain. 
and uncomfortable and not able to talk very well or the same. Um, and that I feel like is going to be the hardest part for me and I'm very, very nervous about it. So, and everyone around me is so excited for me. My parents are so excited and my, the dentist is excited and the surgeon and the girl that helps him and everybody's so excited for me and Danny's so excited and I'm excited but I'm, I can't let go of that stupid feeling that, what if I die? Then that's a big waste of money and time and energy spent on me and I don't like when it's hard for me to accept when people give me things especially when it's something that big um like I mean you guys know I love gifts like little gifts and stuff but like I just I'm not very good at humbling myself enough to just be excited instead of focusing on oh man that person spent so much money and my shanty vannies gave me so much of their hard-earned money and I don't know what my problem is with that but I have a big problem with that um, when it comes to giving me things like borrowing is different like if my parents lend us money or Danny's parents lend us money or whatever that's different because I know I'll pay it back but accepting a gift no strings attached and no I don't know how to be grateful and humble at the same time, so I just end up saying thank you a million times, and then it gets annoying, and it probably starts to sound insincere because I say it so much, but I don't, like, thank you isn't a big enough word, and so kind of becomes like, uh, I don't know how to thank you because I don't know, I don't, the words are not there, <laughs> and what you guys and the other donor have given up for me is incredible and while I am healing and I'm not practicing my eating disorder anymore except a couple mess ups here and there over however many months or not months a month maybe anyway um, but although I am recovering and I am finding worth in myself and I'm starting to love myself even with all of that, I don't think I still feel like I'm worth this. Um, and I'm sure I will, I hope I will someday. I mean, a year ago I was worth nothing to myself and now I'm starting to love myself and love different things about myself and be proud of myself and all that stuff. So I know it will come with time, I just don't have it yet. And so I just, just eats me up inside and it I just I'm constantly hearing these voices it's like you are so not worth this come on really like you're not even gonna live as long as normal people you're probably gonna mess up and throw up anyway and then you're gonna let the donors down and you're gonna let your your YouTube followers down and Danny and God and your family and everybody you're gonna let down you're gonna let down yourself and then where are you gonna be you're gonna be in a ditch alone dead almost dead because nobody will want to be with you anymore no one will want to care for you anymore because you will be the epitome of worthless because if you can't even tackle this this is like your last chance and if you can't accomplish something great with this then you are hopeless now i know that's not all true but i'm just telling you the voices that go on in my head lately and I don't know why they're there when I'm doing so well I don't know why they're there I think it's just because I'm in pain all the time like all the time and that's frustrating and I think that that clouds my head and where I'm taking information from in my brain maybe it like can get mixed up sometimes like I've got my good brain and then I've got these little dirty brains that want to come in and infect my good brain and tell me that I'm worthless and hopeless and and just come in and just like you suck and you are not worth it and then the good brain is like yeah but I'm, I'm not like you're 
you suck you need to go away like you're stupid like this is your you need to leave you are not welcome here i can do this i've got it i'm good yeah but do you not realize that you are the most worthless piece of scum on the entire planet that ever lived and that this is nothing that you deserve you will end up alone you will end up dead you will end up sicker and in more pain until the day you die and then slowly I will creep back in and find you and kill you and bring you with me to the dark side because that's where you deserve to be but then my good brain is like screw off like you suck shut up but now that my head is clouded with pain, literally my head is clouded, um, I wonder sometimes if the voices get kind of meshed together. What if they somehow like start meshing and then I get confused as to which voice is talking to me? And then I'm like, wait, which side of the brain is that coming from? Probably the crappy one. I'm feeling loopy again. I'm going to be loopy, by the way, for the next week and a half because I'm on extreme pain management, so. I think I'm going to end this here so that I can upload it tonight because it's Monday right now and I haven't given you guys anything in the past few days, so I might upload this tonight and then tomorrow, I don't know what I'll do tomorrow. Maybe a Q&A. Let's do a Q&A. Um, yeah, leave me some questions below on this video and I'll do a Q&A either tomorrow or Wednesday. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Everything's all thrown off now. Okay, I'm getting really loopy. I love you and I will talk to you later. And in case this is the end, remember forever and always that you are beautiful, you are worth it. And I'm too. So I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. And I am too. Calm down. Okay. I love you. Goodbye. Okay. Uh. <laughs> You're welcome. into your eyes It's like watching the night sky Or a beautiful sunrise There's so much they hold And just like them old stars I see that you've come so I'm giving you all